Welcome back to Let's Play Sphinx and the Cursed Mummy. I'm Burning Dog Face, and we're looking for the five healing herbs that we need to save the mare's life. I've discovered one right over there, and we've already got three of them with me. So that's nice. That's right, I've only got 400. I've already got uh, max dollar dues. Ha! That was easy enough. Uh. Yay! Oh god. Hmm. Only other thing that jumped out at me was, uh... Something I was wondering about back at the palace. I'm not gonna lie, off-camera I went and searched a bunch of the stores and stuff. Right now, I'm assuming <clears throat> that the game developers weren't dickish enough... Ooh. Yeah, I didn't think so. The game developers weren't dickish enough to, uh, hide the thing inside one of the damned, uh... Minigame areas. So I didn't, like, go out into the gauntlet or anything. How's that? That's what I was wondering about. This freaking disco ball down there. I was actually playing, I saw the light and just thought, oh, it must be a lantern of some kind, but... I was looking over the footage, and... It sure does look strange. Problem is, I also noticed at some point... Yeah, there he is! This asshole's down there. Me without an attack. Oh god. I guess we're doing this. Well, that definitely looks important. Oh, that's what I'm doing wrong. You don't double jump. Fuck, I always forget that. So it is a thing! And it's actually more than one. Neat! Uh, ah! Jesus, I didn't even see him coming. How do we get out of the water? Uh... Ah, jeez! Oh. Well, I'm embarrassed. <clears throat> I was just gonna be scared, I was gonna be annoyed. Oh! Oh! I remember that! There's a, a lock inside the palace! Found a glyph key. Hooray! Okay, well, forget that then. I'm just gonna go do that. That sounds much more exciting than watching me scour the entire city. Tell you what! Stick to- I've been doing the labyrinth thing. Stick to the walls so that you know you cover every inch of the area. Just for the sake of argument, let's make sure it's not in here. I feel like it wouldn't be, since that guy would have just picked it up by now. Oh. No, that's not- that's nothing. That was a weird shadow. But it seems darker on this monitor, I think. Maybe that's just me. I don't actually know how to adjust the contrast on this thing. Alright, fine. One more sweep up here.
It would just be the funniest thing in the world to me. If, uh, when he brought the uh, mayor all the healing herbs, he smoked them. A gold glyph, which will fit in certain key pedestals. So well, let's find out what it does. Oh, that's convenient. You know what? In case this does lead to money, I'm going to go save upstairs. Well, it is money, but I just noticed the frickin' thing off of the side. Why did I point at the monitor like you guys can see that? So I'm just gonna load the game and, uh, not open that until I need the hundred scarabs. Okay, let's do that again. you know, grab that. Yes! I got a healing herb. It is safely stored in my medicine bag. And now I'll just go kill all these guys so they don't endanger the people in the, uh, temple. It's no offense, but I'm literally the only person I've ever seen who wasn't a monster carrying a weapon. So, uh, I'm not sure these guys would be able to defend themselves. Oh, no, that's not true. There's guards upstairs. What am I talking about? With big old spears. Although I wouldn't be entirely surprised to learn that the spears were just painted on. You heard me. Well, we should probably shouldn't run around to the uh, mayoral palace with uh, this on. Sorry about that, I needed to sneeze. I think I might be coming down with something. Hopefully not, knock on wood. What am I doing? I need to bring them back to the doctor, not just get, hand the leaves to the mayor. Oh, well, I wish I'd spoken to you sooner. I just assumed your dialogue would not have changed. Oh, that is just the worst feeling in the world, isn't it? And there's nothing you can do to help a situation. Ah! He's not paid to think. Man! How long would that have taken if I hadn't thought of the, uh, to go look at the things? The, the disco balls. Huh. And there's nothing. Money I don't need. 
You know, when I was running around uh, looking in the, the rooms and stuff, I remembered that one of the monsters in the uh, monster store is like 900 dollar dues. I physically can't carry that much right now. You know, for some reason I assumed this was going to carry me back. I mean, I like the way it rocks in relation to my position. That's neat for 2003. Uh... Oh, that is clever. It was either going to be that or electrocute myself again. I wonder if that's how I was meant to get away from the, uh... Pla oh, fuck. I just didn't make the jump. I wonder if that's how I was meant to get away from that, uh... Platform with the guy and the, uh... What the hell is it? The ferryman. The dude who takes, gives you rides to Heliopolis. It's the first time I went there, I realized I didn't have enough dollar dues for the, uh, stupid ride. Because I just spent all of them on something, and there was only, like, 15 on the platform, I think. He's right over here, isn't he? Yes. Ah! Close enough. I mean, I'm here. Sup. Excellent! You have all the herbs. I almost pronounced it wrong. What are you doing chatting on to me? What? Get back to the council chambers immediately. Oh. God damn it. Alright, fine. Uh, I don't remember how I got out of this place. Uh, isn't there a ladder or something? Oh! That just defies logic. I didn't think that would work. Hey, there's the ladder. Weird. What am I doing? I need to go back to the Mayoral Palace. <laughs> I keep calling it that. The Mayoral Palace. I was picking up my note here. Uh, Venser's Prodigy had a pretty good note about that. Where, uh... <laughs> it's, he pointed out that it's like Abydos is written as, uh... You know, sort of an elective monarchy. But they just, you know, used find and replace to replace the word king with the word mayor. So, you know, since he lives in a palace, he's got, you know advisors and stuff, and, uh, he has a, a royal crown, but everybody calls him the mayor. But at the same time, it's not like, oh, you know, the mayor is gonna die, find the mayor's son. It's like, I don't know. Is there such thing as an elective monarchy? I've never heard of one. I would imagine that would be very much like a mayor, except that you stay in the office until you die, instead of getting voted out. And then they vote in someone else, as opposed to it just being your, you know, biological heir. Man, I was right in here earlier. Oh, excuse me. Uh, I didn't actually talk to you guys last time, did I? You will not be able to gather the, the, the healing herbs in time. The mayor is doomed. The mayor is in terrible pain. Perhaps you can convince the physician to give him something to end his suffering. I call the birds have different bird voices. One, two, three, four, five. Excellent! You found them all. If we hurry, there still may be time to save the mayor. Kind of 
Come down there, you must take this, it will make you better. <sighs> oh, what happened? Where am I? Oh, I feel so dizzy. Who is this? What is he doing here? Why aren't you wearing any shoes? Mayor, this is Sphinx. He is the one who found the ingredients I needed to cure you. He is our hero. He saved your life. Nice use of a semicolon. Well, thank you very much, young sir. You're quite a strange-looking fellow, aren't you? That brings you to our beautiful city of Abydos. Now that you mention it, I've seen zero other people that look like this. Plenty of bird people. Uh, a couple cat men who tried to kill me. No humans with tails. The sacred crown of Abydos for Anubis. Hmm, that is indeed a significant request. He is lying, sir. He is the imposter who poisoned you. He wants to steal the crown. Anubis would never consort with such a creature. Don't trust him. Silence! You leeches have been seeking the crown ever since you joined the council. This sphinx has already proved himself more trustworthy than you. Hmm. This difficult decision requires some deliberation. Why is everyone so interested in the crown these days? I must think. The best course of action. Sphinx, join me next door in a few moments, and I'll inform you of my decision. I need to think, and I'm so tired. Why is he going off with them? That seems like a terrible idea, given that they obviously poisoned him. The city of Abydos hails you as a hero, my friend. Except for Toby, but fuck that guy. He's always been an asshole. There aren't any rooms attached to this one. Aww. Above all, the people of Abydos express their sincerest thanks for the good deed you have done for the city. Our fair city has been going through a most turbulent time recently. It seems that some higher power is determined to bring misfortune and misery to our lives. Your arrival and heroic actions have been like a ray of hope to the people of Abydos. Thus the Council have decided that the sacred crown of Abydos will be entrusted to you. Wow. On the condition that you deliver it safely to our Lord Anubis, I express our warmest regards to him. What? You cannot give him the crown. He is clearly an imposter. Anubis would never endorse the actions of one such as he. The crown is ours. You are not going to give it away to anyone, you stupid fool. Oh, I did a... Come, brother. The crown is ours. As for you, Mayor, your short-sightedness has secured the fate of the city once and for all. Oh, Ra Almighty, someone please stop them. The traitors are escaping. Please, Sphinx, I implore you, retrieve the crown. Now it waits for me to hit A. You know, I think that's the first time I've ever seen a video game do the thing where an item is just floating off the ground and rotating, and then have someone interact with it in that, uh, you know, physical sense. Like it was actually floating just off the ground and rotating, as opposed to be just being, hey, here's a neat way to make the item stand out more than if we just put it on the ground. Aww. Can't believe my trusted advisors betrayed me like that. I'm gonna have to stop thinking about those dreadful beasts. What if they'd enter the council chambers? I know you're back to talking about that, huh? I am an esteemed dignitary of Abydos with great responsibilities. I wish I was treated with more respect by my fellow counselors. Well, there's the timer. Good time as any. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play Sphinx and the Cursed Mummy when we jump down that hole. Later!